Hello everyone, this is Catherine. I will be setting up my Hobonichi Cousin today with you guys for 2021. I have never done a setup with me or a plan with me video before, so let's just hope that this will go well today. I am using the Superior Labor Zip Around cover in the A5 size, and this one has the canvas print in the front um, using the William Morris pattern. So on the left hand side, I just have a few sheets of functional stickers from my shop. And on the right hand side, of course, we have the Hobonichi Cousin. And in this video, I will be using the Pentel Fude sign pen. And on the right hand side, I have the um, friction pen in point zero, uh, 0 0.38. And I will also be using some of these dot markers. So this first page, I will be using it as an intention tracker. So basically, I will be crossing the day off if I feel like I have put in my best and worked towards my goals. And on the right hand side, I will be using the top portion as a place where I write down important dates for 2022 as events come up. So it could be weddings or birthdays or doctor's appointments. I will just circle it on the bottom and I will write down the date and describe the event on the right. I will be using this section for tracking my goals for each quarter. But before I talk about this portion, we have to jump forward to the section where I will be laying down my goals for 2021 for all of my different hobbies and different sections of my life. So this section is right after the weekly section and before the daily start. And this is called the turning the page to a new year and basically it's just two pages of grid empty um empty grid paper and as i have discussed in my previous video where i talked through my setup for 2021 in my hobonichi cousin i have typed up my goals in excel and i just transferred them neatly onto indesign and um, sized it exactly to the grid size so i have printed these on sticker paper so that they already have the the adhesive on the back side it's going to be a little bit tricky to stick these on and you can see later i did make a little bit of a mistake but the left hand side actually came out perfectly so this is the method i use i peel open the backing for half of the sheet and then line up the other half where the backing is still there and then i stick down the portion i just peeled open so here i'm just trying to align it up really well and then you just stick on the top portion and once that's there, you can peel up, peel off the bottom and just try to not have any air bubbles. And it's almost like putting on the uh, screen protector on your phone. So the left hand side came out perfectly, but the right hand side I actually made a mistake because I scored the backing before filming this video so it wasn't quite straight and that just messed up the alignment a little bit but it's okay we can't all be perfect all the time so so i'm using the same method here to stick it on but as you can see because the backing wasn't completely straight uh, where i scored it so the paper is a little bit wrinkled on the back. Which is a little annoying, but 
it's okay, it's not the end of the world. So I am done sticking these two sheets on and I'll go through it a in a little bit uh, because I was pretty annoyed that there was a wrinkle on the back side, I decided to stick on this page immediately. So for Hobonichi Cousins daily pages, before each month, they give you one empty sheet at the beginning of each month. And I my plan for this section is to just stick on my monthly freebie calendar. And I think it's going to be perfect because each month it has a different theme so it will be quite nice to see a slightly different theme for each month and I try to organize the theme by what's going on during that month or just try to match the mood for that month so if it's a summer month then I try to make a summery pattern or design um, and if it's winter then I try to make it a little bit more cozy and for me January is the perfect time to have tea and just be cozy. So I have printed out my monthly freebie calendar and put double-sided tape on the back side. Um, my double-sided tape is from Tombow and I got it from jetpens.com. And you can get my monthly freebie calendar by joining my Facebook group or you can go to my website and sign up for my newsletter. And these freebie calendars come in five different sizes, uh, ranging from pocket size all the way up to A5 size. So you can go ahead and check it out. And um, also included are sticky notes designs. So you can download them and print them on blank sticky notes. So here I have stuck that there and you can barely see the wrinkle in the back now, which makes me happy. So this is all set for January. I'm so excited to start using the dailies. So this is the section where I mapped out all of my personal goals. Um, some of them are things I want to learn. Some of them are things I want to do for myself. And there are also a few projects that I have um, made up for myself in the new year. So I'll be tackling those. And basically, I have broken up my end of year goal down to quarterly, monthly, weekly, and all the way down to daily tasks so that it seems much more doable than to just look at the end of the year goal. And my plan is to just um, have these daily tasks and weekly tasks reflected into onto the weekly pages so that I can see them right away. I think I just perform better when things are right in the front of my face so that I know that I have to do something. Um, I have printed out my quarterly goals onto a sheet of cardstock paper and that was actually not as good as I had imagined. Um, it was just too thick for that to my river paper so whenever I try to flip open this page it would bend um, the Tome River paper underneath would bend backwards so it's just not working out as I had envisioned so I will have to reprint this page onto regular sheet of paper and I've done that before and that works out so much better than this so the first thing I did was to just secure it with the scotch tape so that um, it's secured onto that piece of paper underneath and then my plan was to um, tape on my washi tape on top so that it can be prettier to look at so here I'm using my favorite washi tape from my shop uh, I love it because it's so summery and happy I have taped this on so that um, this sheet can open so that uh, flip open so that I can reference it when I'm doing my working on my tracker um, basically, it has the qu uh, the quarterly goal for the first quarter and also um, the daily or weekly tasks that I have for each category. Um, and these are the same categories that I am showing uh, in the overall personal goals matrix that I showed you earlier. 
So on the left hand side, uh, for my qu quarterly goals, underneath each of the category, I just wrote out the end of the year goals that I have set for myself, and that was just strictly copied over from the overall um, uh, goals uh, matrix. And uh, for the first quarter goal, I have just uh, made it more specific. So for example, if uh, I said I was going to learn three pieces for piano for that quarter, then I wrote out specifically which pieces I was going to learn during that quarter. And I find that when I'm being more specific with my goals, it just um, helps me to focus better compared to when I'm just being really vague and saying uh, I need to learn three pieces. So now uh, for the quarterly tracker, I will be writing out the different sections on that top portion using my friction pen, um, just so I, just in case I make a mistake. So once I'm done writing down all the different categories, I actually um, decided to draw out a line underneath each Sunday to divide up the week so I can see them clearly because some of the tasks are for each week. And underneath of this, I am using this portion as a summary section where I can just write out a sentence um, really quickly just to summarize how that month went in terms of those categories. And for the each, uh, for each of the months afterwards, I will be uh, filling those out um, at the end of the previous month. So this is how I plan on using this and I will be uh, creating one quarterly uh, goal sheet for each of the quarter. So for the December of 2020 in this new Hobonichi Cousin, because I'm not using it to plan out my December, for 2020, I will be using this as a section where I set down my routine for the month and the week. And on the left hand side where that sidebar is, I will be using this as a monthly bill section. So um, here I'm just writing out monthly bill on top uh, using my Fude, uh, Pentel Fude sign pen. And underneath that, I will just be writing out um, 1 through 31 and this is where I will be tracking uh, my subscriptions and the different due dates for different credit cards or um, you know various services and underneath the monthly bills I'm just filling out a section for monthly goals and that's just one more place where I wanted to write down just very concisely what uh, the monthly goals are for each of the categories uh, and again I just like seeing that on different pages so that I can just remind myself what I'm what my goals are and what I'm working towards so here I just write out again those sections and I will fill this out a little bit later and the goals will be probably just two three words uh, very concise and now on the right hand side, I'm using the first two rows as a section to write out my cleaning schedule and just some basic um, house chore um, schedule. So I am writing down week one through week four here. And in a typical month, there are usually four to five weeks. But uh, for the purpose of the routine, I'm just writing down four weeks because you always get four full weeks uh, per month. And underneath that, I'm just using the bottom three um, squares, if you want to call it, as a place where I write down my weekly schedule. So now I'm just using a ruler to draw a line to divide up the weeks uh, because they're sharing the same square. And again, I'm using my friction pen so I can erase it if I want to. Um, it's always nice to start with friction pen at the beginning of the year because I think I just get really nervous um, using a permanent pen because I don't want to mess up a brand new planner. So now I'm also drawing um, lines across the weekly schedule because I want to divide it up uh, based on the different categories. So um, here on the top, I'm just filling out some 
basic schedule that we always go by. So for example, we uh, do grocery shopping three, uh, three times a month. So that's every 10 days. So I'm just filling those out. And um, right after getting the groceries, we always clean the kitchen. So they are always together. And I'm just filling in our cleaning schedule and also our Sunday routine. And the Sunday routine is the same every Sunday, so I am not repeating that for each week. I'm just writing down that once. Um, and I find that it's just nice to kind of reference a monthly routine when you're planning out the month. Just because sometimes I think I just get overwhelmed when I have too much to do. And it's nice to have somewhere to reference um, for some things that we always do so that um, I don't get so overwhelmed when I'm planning out a brand new month. So now uh, for the weekly schedule, I'm just writing out sort of the typical things I want to do each day for the different categories that I set out for my goals. And um, I'm also referencing my quarterly sheet on the left-hand side to see how many days I wanted to work on what per week. And I'm just dividing them up um, so that I'm not doing uh, a bunch of things on one day and to make to also make sure that things are more spread out so I don't overwhelm myself. Um, and most of these are just hobbies and little projects that I set out for myself and, and of course, fitness and self-care. Um, I, I will be referencing this weekly schedule when I'm scheduling out my weeklies, weekly section in the Hobonichi Cousin. And now I'm going to be filling out the January monthly page. The left-hand side, I'm using the sidebar as a place where I write down to-do lists that, that are not uh, date-specific but need to be done during that week. And I'm just filling out the week numbers there. And um, it's actually really nice because week one is actually week one in the monthly routine. So it's pretty easy to fill this page out based on the monthly routine. And here I'm just filling out the cleaning schedule and all the different things that I need to do during that month and putting on some stickers to make it more fun and pretty. And of course, I will be filling this monthly page out more with my appointments and meetings, but I just didn't want to do that in this video. I think I'm almost done at this point. I'm just going to fill out a couple more to-dos for that first week. And I'm going to be jumping on to the weekly section. I really liked using these post-it tabs this year um, for my cousin. It just helped me to navigate through the different sections of my notebook. So now jumping into the weekly section on the left hand side, I will be using this sidebar as a place to write out the weekly to do's. Uh, a tracker section where I'll be mainly tracking vitamins, waters and such. And also a highlight section where I just write out the fun things that happened, important things that happened. And in the weekly section on the top portion from 5 to 9 a.m., I'll be using that as a place to write out uh, goal-related tasks. So I'm going to be referencing my weekly schedule that I filled out earlier. And just uh, I'm also going to be writing down more detailed to-dos here. So for example, for Japanese, I actually write out which chapter of the textbook I'm supposed to read. And also if it's piano, I'm just writing down which piece I'm supposed to work on that week so that uh, I can be more focused on what I'm supposed to do each day. Originally, I also had a reading section, but I've been doing really well with my reading. And also I have been keeping a separate reading journal. So that's where I kind of track what I read. And here I'm just uh, writing down some appointments for Monday and Tuesday. And some to-dos underneath Monday section. I'm using from midnight until 
5 a.m. as the location for just miscellaneous to-dos for that day. And from 9 a.m. until midnight, that's where I use the weeklies for time blocking. Um, any of the blank section I'll probably be using to do actual work. Uh, I'm just spreading out some of the goals, goal tasks uh, throughout the day so that I can kind of write down when I want to do what, depending on my mood. So now I'm trying to figure out how I want to decorate this page. I normally don't really decorate my spreads, but since this is the first week, I wanted to make it a little bit more special and pretty. So again, I'm using my favorite washi here. Um, I probably used up several rolls of this. I probably shouldn't be allowed to touch my stock because you guys would have nothing left. I just like how it blends in really well with the paper and it just looks so subtle and pretty. And here I'm kind of de debating whether to use these foiled stickers. I just think they're so pretty, but um, even though I know I can just make them anytime I want, but I still can't bring myself to use them just because they're so pretty to look at. And I basically decided not to use it after all. So at this point, I'm almost done with this spread. I will be coming back a little bit later to fill in some of the work items. But otherwise, um, I think I'm pretty much done for this video. But I wanted to add in this 3x3 freebie calendar for my Facebook group. I printed this on vellum and cut to size. And on the back side, I'm just adding a removable glue dot so I can move this from page to page. And I will also be adding a sheet of uh, legend for color coding because at the end of the, each day, I just want to come back and color code my to-dos, my, my timeline, just so I can see how much time I spend on what and if I'm working on things consistently. And this also helps me to uh, figure out how much time things actually take so I can plan out my weeks more uh, better and more realistically. Here I'm just writing out all of the different sections on a post-it note and I'll be putting the color next to each of the categories. I'm using the zig dot marker here and it makes a perfect circle for you so that's quite nice. And for the last one, I'm because I ran out of colors, I am using this orange marker from Tombow. And this is just a different type of circle marker or dot marker. And this actually gives you a perfect circle because the bottom is flat. The daily pages that I'll be using as a place to write out notes throughout the day and I'll be using these colorful tabs to mark out any important pages with a short description on top so I can jump to them right away. But otherwise, I think I'm done with my setup for this brand new Hobonichi Cousin and I'm so excited to start using this this week. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!